Hey everybody, it's 13 minutes past 7 o'clock right now and time for the Orthopedic Minute with our friends from DMOS. We have Dr. Shane Cook joining us in studio right now. And we're going to talk about something that you probably never expected us to talk about, Michelle. <laughs> yes, Shane, you're saying ganglion cysts. We've been kind of having a little fun with that you here have, this yes. morning. But it is something of concern. You know, I, you, you said that uh, you see a lot of patients coming in with this. So let's just first off explain what is a ganglion cyst. So ganglion cysts are um, masses or lumps and bumps that you could see kind of throughout the body, feet and ankles. You can see them on the hand <coughs> and the wrist. What they are is they're um, benign, meaning not aggressive or not a tumor, you know, not an aggressive tumor, but okay. a benign uh, mass that can grow out of your wrist. They can be cosmetic. They can cause issues, no, you know, do, with do the they, do they look like big bumps that come out of your wrist? Yeah. Or, or is it just, you just feel it if you, if you touch your skin? or? Yeah, so it can be both. They can be large. They can be smaller. They can cause pain and not. There's some pictures yeah. here. Yeah, so we got a picture up right here. So they usually present near the wrist, but they can present on either side of the wrist, the front or the back. They can be cosmetic and not cause issues, or they can cause symptoms. They can be small and cause symptoms, and people don't even know they have them, and we have to get advanced studies to figure them out. But um, they can be symptomatic and cause issues for patients. Well, you can see some of the uh, developments here in some of the, uh, the areas where they do grow, and are, are, these, are these painful at all? Or? So they can be painful. I, patients present with um, multiple complaints. One is cosmetic. They just don't like, like the way it looks, you know, young females. Um, it can bother them. So that's one way they can present. The other way they can present is pain and it can be diffuse pain. It could be localized pain. Some people don't know what's going on. It could be caused, you know, there could be other symptoms like carpal tunnel symptoms associated with this cyst or something like that pushing on a nerve. So it presents in many different ways. D is this something that happens to people of all ages? It does. It can happen to people of all ages. The um, peak that we see it is usually aged is um, around 15 or 20 to the uh, 40s. Um, those are the peak ages, but it can happen from anywhere from young children to up to um, uh, elderly people. Okay, and you say it's common in people, as you mentioned, between 15 and 40 years old, and uh, you have a gymnast listed there. Uh, what is that all about? Yeah, so sometimes it could be associated with more repetitive activities, and it can ex exacerbate it, or they can be more symptomatic. So we see a lot of people in the athletic population that it could be bothersome for. Okay, so, so there is a cause. There's, there's a reason that these are developing? Yeah, yeah. Some, we don't really know what the cause is, but we do see it in uh, this population more so, and I think it's because they're more athletic and they're more using it more so it can be more uh, persistent and bothersome and it could flare it up and cause more issues. Are these, will they continue to kind of keep growing? Do they kind of reach a little uh, point where they stop? Yes, yeah, so that's a great question. Um, most of the time in adolescence, they'll go away on their own. If you give them time, oh, bracing. Yeah, you can use multiple modalities of, of you know, conservative treatment, we call it, such as bracing, anti-inflammatories, things such as that, okay. and it will spontaneously resolve on its own. Okay. With that being said, there's some that are persistent that stick around and those can be symptomatic and bothersome for patients. And if they fail the multiple modalities of treatment, then there's other options to, to um, combat them. Okay, so, the, you, the, so basically you, you said they'll, they'll go away, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll disappear. Yes. And not bother them anymore then. Yeah, so what it is, it's, a, it's actually a fluid-filled sac that actually comes from deep from your joint. Oh, it is? Yeah, so I, I don't know if you guys have ever watched Dr. Pimple Popper. But I heard about this guy, yeah. <laughs> I haven't okay. watched yeah. him, but I have heard yeah, of yeah, him she, as well. Yeah, she, she, uh, <laughs> That's quite yeah. a following. Yeah, so uh. she, she actually refers these to hand surgeons such as myself to get these out because they do go down to the joint capsule and the surgeries, you know, can be a little bit more invasive of them making a small incision and it just you know comes out so so it's um it's something that can cause pain deeper in the joints okay. once they're removed do they have a you know is the likelihood of them coming back that's a good question so if you surgically remove them it's the lowest likelihood of them coming back you can do other options such as an aspiration where you can um, uh, stick a needle in it and aspirate the the cyst out but there's a high chance that, that comes back maybe a 70 80 percent chance because you're, what you're basically doing is you're emptying the, the sac. yeah the sac you're but empty, you're not getting rid of the root. emptying the fluid and it could just fill back up again yeah you're exactly right so you're not emptying the, you're not getting rid of the stock that the fluid is coming from you know it's like a volcano it just keeps kind of erupting until you get rid of that base of it once you surgically remove it there's about a five to ten percent chance it comes back but pretty low pretty low pretty okay. low chance now you mentioned uh, repetitive action uh, seems to be the cause of this occasionally would that include being on devices or computer keyboards or anything yeah it or, has is that, or is that something a little different that's pr that's probably something a little different okay. I, I think um, I think people present in different ways and we really don't know what causes it so it can be hard to pinpoint to what 
what what causes it but yeah typically you know people have different complaints say oh I'm on a computer all day that's why this happened well it may not be that way but but some people you know they, they think it gets worse with typing and, and activity such as that so if someone kind of notices that they've got something like this that's are there things that they can kind of do to keep it at bay you know at home or is it something that they really need to come and see somebody and get it treated yeah, yeah, great question. And there's other lumps and bumps you can get on your hand. So obviously, you know, if you're concerned about it, um, if you're concerned about it, you should, you know, follow up with a healthcare provider to make sure it's this ganglion cyst and not something else, because it could be something else that's maybe more aggressive. All right. So again, if you are discovering it, again, you should be paying attention to what's happening with your body yep. anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is just one of the things you want to keep an eye on. Right? Yep, yep. And and uh, back to Michelle's question, you know, you can try bracing anti-inflammatories, things such as that. If that doesn't resolve it and you get clarification that it is a ganglion cyst, you can come see a special specialist like myself. And the, the idea of the bracing then is to kind of knock down on that repetitive exactly. motion that you're, exactly you're right. doing. Mm -hmm. All right. The interesting things. I never knew that. It is. We know more about the ganglion <laughs> cyst here today. <laughs> now, if people want to come and uh, tap into your specialty and your expertise, or where can they find you? Yeah, they can find us on online, or or um, or they can call us at two two four one four one four. We'll be happy to schedule them. I'll see them as soon as possible. All right. Now, which location are you at? So I'm at the uh, Pennsylvania Avenue office All right, okay. and uh, the East Side office, and then I'm at the Des Moines office, and then I'm up in Ankeny. Okay, so you're so. all over. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. You guys do great work over well, there. Well, thank you so, so much. Thanks for having us. Thanks on. for being here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. You need to all right. Stop in and get some help. All right. 19 minutes.